Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new, super cool, probably not cringy, video. Today, I'm going to tell you about my OC, Rose the Bat, and how she became a creepypasta OC. Now probably you got, so half of you guys are probably like, but there is a reason for this. Number one. But before we continue on, There'll be little numbers. Those stand for the hints about what creep pasta. If you guys can guess what creep pasta fan, what creep pasta is my favorite. And if you guys guess it right, I'll feature you guys in the next video. Let's continue. <clears throat> As I was saying, reason number one. I actually saw. I was like looking for the. Through YouTube, like, I was minding my own business until I became, come across Jordan something. Like, he does, he, basically what he does is draw the creep pasta until their story, which I really got inspired, but my first creep pasta I saw was Jeff. Yep, you guessed it, it's Jeff. Now, like I said, before the, before I got here, there will be hints of my favorite creep pasta. And no, it is not Jeff. Anyways, getting off topic. So I was looking, after I got done with his story, I saw a character name. There's your first hint. As I saw the character name, Jack, this actually caught my eye about what creepypasta I like. I mean... His story was really inspiring, but it wasn't the true story. It was like the other story. Anyways, on the number two. As we get on the number two, why? Why he became so inspired is because the character, because the character was so unoriginal. Well, the character looked unhuman. It had a had a different shape of a nose. Wait, hold on, that's not a hint. And the character wore black and white. Don't judge my spelling. Anyways, as the character wore black and white, it became more clear that back then I really wasn't sure. Of it, but now I actually like the black and white, more neutral colors because of this character. You guys are probably guessing who it is, but eh, you probably don't know who I'm talking about. You're probably like this. Anyways, on to number three. Number three. When this all started, I actually didn't like the name. I didn't. Rose's name was actually Rose. It was Laughing Killer. I actually asked my cousin about this, and she just started laughing at this. I literally asked what was so funny. She said the name was stupid. Well, she actually said the name was weird. So I'm like, okay, what should I call her then? She's like, whatever you want. Surprisingly, roses were in my mind. You don't want to know why. Anyways, as I thought Rose came into mind, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to name my character Rose the Bat. Well, actually Rose. The Bat. You know what? Screw it. That's not what I actually said. I just named her Rose. But me and her were just walking around, and we told each other creep creepy story. Well, creep pasta crushes. I actually told her mine, and uh, hers is Ben and Jeff. I'm like... Here we go, here we have another one, doop -a doop -a doop And the character I like was tall. Wait, no, that's not a hint. God dang it, I don't know. As this character possesses more of a black and white scenario, he had... He had fluffy shoulder pads. You probably guess. Now you're probably knowing who it is. 
I actually don't know a good hint for number three, so... You know what? He knows a girl named Jill. Now you probably guessed... Now I probably got you in a tap. Now I probably got your head spinning like this. As this character progressed, I actually don't like the Jill. I don't like the other female. I don't like Jill because she's so unoriginal. She looks exactly like the character I described. She looks exactly like Jack. And she's also black and white. Now, I know Jeff is black and white. Well, he has red, so, eh. But his character is original. Well, except for the smile. It actually is from someone else. But still. I actually don't know why I fell in love with this character. But I actually hate the Jill. But I like Jack. Now you're probably wondering. Oh god damn it, we have another fangirl. Well, yeah, you do. Well, um, well I like Jack as a... More of a, f more than a friend, friend. I actually like him like this. Again, I don't know why. Now I know he belongs to Stuff Bomb. Okay, I just ruined the hint. You know what? Be right back. And we're back. I changed the hint to stuff bomb. I think I spelled bomb wrong, but don't judge. Anyways, I hope you like this new episode. If you have questions, comments, or if you try to guess what the creep pasta I like it have a crush on is, well, you, if you're my friend and you know what it is, then. Just don't spoil it for everyone else, okay? But if you don't know, if you're new to the channel, like and subscribe and all the blah 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 blah. See you guys and probably another video. Bye bye.